Methadrone, a legal high that became massively popular in 2009 and was subsequently made illegal, sparked public concern and media interest in the legal high business that has since died down. Though the interest dwindled, the legal high trade is still functioning in the same way and profits are good. The Lincolnshire Echo reported that one 18-year-old was sectioned after smoking a legal high that is freely available from one of a number of head shops in Lincoln. With Europol research showing an exponential increase in the number of legal highs being made available each year, we aim to explore their popularity and its effects on the community. Do you know what legal highs are? Yes. I've heard of them, yeah. I do, yeah, I'm aware. Um, I don't agree with them. Have you heard anything about them in the news recently? I can't say I've seen them reported uh, on the news recently. Yeah, there's been a lot, hasn't there? Uh, particularly see the negative side that people don't really know about they just see, I think a lot of the things that we've is classed as illegal is only because it's been found to have things in them but obviously these so-called legal ones are only because they've not been tested I heard there was something on the news this morning saying they were looking at the American model of how to get them reclassified well just this morning hearing about them trying to um, get more laws against when they slightly change chemicals that are similar to legal highs to try and make it illegal and things like that I know in Lincoln, head candy and things, and how they're affecting people mentally in the future. Do you think it's a growing problem in Lincoln, uh, oh, the legal high? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that a lot of these youngsters and things are going to the shops. There's one on the, down Linda Mill they're probably quite aware of, which has been raided many of the time, and they've been found to have stuff that they shouldn't have in these products. There's no way that they're selling them for like one or two pounds, and it hasn't got certain elements which are going to be illegal, you know, to, to fill them out, I guess, as it were. Um, definitely, all the young kids from year 7 upwards are all getting involved, year 7 to year 10. Then getting to year 11, they're going to college and it's just progressing for the worse. Uh, I don't think so really, because I think people that are after that sort of like experience would probably go with the, you know, the proper alternative. So if they're going right? to do it, they're yeah, going. from, you know, from my, my experience with people that have uh, purchased like legal highs and stuff at festivals, like download and stuff. The people just say they're useless, you know, they're rubbish. So those people that want that experience from, from what I've experienced tend, tend to bother with them. Yeah, I think it's a massive growing problem in Lincoln, yeah. I work with a lot of young people, so yeah, it's definitely something that comes to our attention more and more. Well, I mean, the, the accessibility they've got to a whole range of drugs is massive, I think, and they have no real understanding about what they contain, the effects, which leaves them in a lot of real vulnerable positions. So. We spoke to four people who have all used legal highs and experienced the community affected by them firsthand. We spoke to each of them individually about their own experiences on the range of drugs and why they think they are so popular in the local area. The legal highs I've taken are AMT, Snow White, Exodus, um, Benzo Fury, MDXI, uh, and I think that's about it. And they're all sort of different. AMT was like a LSD substitute. Um, Benzo Fury is like an upper. Snow White's just mental, and I wouldn't recommend it. And Exodus is like synthetic weed, but when you smoke it, it's not really like weed, and it doesn't get used to that, that stone. It just makes you feel a bit ketty. And the guy at the counter actually persuaded me not to buy these legal highs. I wasn't going in to buy any legal highs. I think I was going in to buy a lighter or something. Um, but the guy behind the counter literally said to me, look, mate, stick to your illegals because all of these, he was just like, please don't take them. He was like, they're smashing it for me because I'm selling hundreds of grams to people that are cutting them into illegal drugs. But he was like, if you want my advice, just don't take any of them. I think as well, there is a problem, especially in the Lincolnshire community, like with legal highs, um, I think what a lot of people overlook is the fact that legal highs are rife in Lincolnshire and people that you know don't come from Lincoln or you know don't really know a lot about Lincoln wouldn't necessarily think that Lincoln would be the place that it is absolutely rife with legal highs like walking home from uni just at a bus stop you can see people taking legal highs and you know using them and I think that it is sort of destroying a part of the community, really. The first time I ever, ever tried legal highs, I was in Doncaster, and I walked into a head shop, and I, it was salvia, not, it was something different, salvia. 
And apparently salvia, if you smoke it in a bong, it's an hallucinogenic. And we never, we just, we bought a pre-rolled joint and I had two burns off it. And I instantly got hit with the giggles, just like I would when I first started smoking pot. And it was a good buzz and it was a bit different and it was weird and I enjoyed it. But my other mate, he went a different direction. He went cold, shaking, breathing problems. And I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it's mentally how you take it or whatever, but something, it, it doesn't react sometimes the way it's supposed to do. And it sends you off balance and it sends you the wrong way. And because it's being portrayed as legal, which means what in people's minds? That it's legal, that it's safe. Does that mean that it's safe because it's legal? Just because they change a molecule in the system, in the way it's built, they change one molecule which can then make that product legal. That's how they do it, that's how they keep ahead of the law. I think, no, it's not just a problem for Lincoln. Yeah, maybe Lincoln is on the rise and people are buying more in Lincoln. But I don't think it's necessarily a problem that's just for Lincoln. I mean, this, this needs to be addressed on a bigger, on a bigger scale. These, need, these things need to stop being sold. People are doing this because it's convenient for them. They don't want to go to, they don't, some people don't know drug dealers. Some people don't roam in those same type of circles. So having a shop that's just on the street, which sells these legal highs, you know, like party pills, like you've just said, well, you know, you get, what, an 18 year old lad that, that's never took pills before, he's gonna take those, because he's gonna to want to experience what it is. And he's not taking the real thing that makes you, ecstasy or, or cocaine or commercial drugs like that. It's, it's not making, it, it's, it's like, they're too, they, they are fake, but in a way they do, they're, they're, they're chemically produced, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not real weed, this is, this is man-made stuff. That's not from the earth, it's not how it's supposed to be. You're not smoking something that makes you feel better necessarily, you're smoking something that can do anything to you. And it's, the only reason people do this is because it's consistent and it's convenient. And they can keep doing it every day, just like I did those two weeks and I swear to God I'll never go back to doing that ever again. I only tried the one, it was called Clockwork Orange, uh, it was bought from Marley's just down the road and um, I came in, one of my friends sort of passed me it and I had three hits of it, passed it back to him, felt fine, like my head went kind of weird and you sort of go within yourself and I think we were just watching telly and all of a sudden my heart felt like it was trying to beat its way through my chest. It, it was literally felt like it was out here. And I started panicking. My friend didn't know what to do. He didn't know how to act. So I started breathing really heavily. And then slowly I could feel my heart drop down ever so slightly. And it took a, it took a good 20 minutes for it to get back to its normal level. Every so often I could just feel it get a little bit less rapid and a little bit less rapid. And then um, that I think tripped me out and I went into a panic attack and it felt like my throat had clogged up um, so my friend then passed me a plastic bag and I was trying to breathe in it um, that eventually sort of went and after a while I was getting cold so I went upstairs to lie down and that was when I, um, I lied down and I started having these full body spasms where my entire body was just twitching there was nothing that I could do to stop it um, and then I fell asleep and it stopped <laughs> I've heard of some of the places having to be shut down because they were actually selling illegal drugs were being packaged um, like I think bags of what was supposed to be a sort of cocaine supplement or whatever actually contained traces of cocaine, things like that had happened and they'd been raided. I was actually walking down the street pretty recently and there was two lads, they couldn't have been older about, than about 14 and they actually asked me to go in there and buy them some um, some legal highs and I said no because I didn't want to see them on the front cover of the newspaper the next day. The only legal high I've tried is synthetic marijuana. I uh, came back from a night out drunk, people who lived opposite me were over, had it, offered it to me and I smoked it. I suppose because they are, legal highs are so accessible, younger kids, I want, they're going to try drugs. I reckon drugs have come a long way from how they were viewed back in the day, back in like the 60s and 50s. I've noticed a police headline in the Lincolnshire Echo that said they were concerned about recent deaths over uh, legal highs. I had never heard of legal highs before I came to Lincoln, um, but now knowing the, like how accessible legal highs are, I w would say that if head shops were to stop selling legal highs, consumers and users 
would they would probably go to onto illegal drugs because they they're not too hard to get, but they're not as easy as legal highs. With reports of people turning up at hospital concerned for their health after taking these substances, there are further concerns raised about the toll on hospital hours dedicated to the effects of these drugs.